So I saved you all the boring parts of the build, but she's finally done. So both ESCs are obviously installed. Most of the wires, I hate seeing wires. Most of the wires are hidden underneath the ESCs, getting into the receiver box, just like so. A little bit of heat shrink here, a little bit of heat shrink there. Once again, if you're new here, 4S system, 4S system, a very amp happy system, which I'm not really happy about, but I don't really have a choice just due to the transfer ratio. If you calculate the transfer ratio of this car with 1100 kV and the wheel diameter of 180 millimeter, you kind of have to limit yourself to about the 4S, but we're about to find out. Also, there are sensor system, which you kind of have to because we need a lot of sensitivity sinking between them. If the front end up being a little bit stronger than the rear, easy we just go into the uh, data log here and the castle link of course sorry and we change the timing a little bit just to make this portion just a little bit slower than this portion but we can play with it which in my opinion will be a must in this build also i was able to squeeze a nice brace here and create my own custom brace for the front nice gps for us for us we're going to charge it up and then we're going to fire it up for the first time and we can see our process with our eggs our blue eggs yeah, so nothing too crazy so far. I don't see anything developing. They're a little bit bigger, I can say. She brought a snack for some weird reason, but she did. on master slave okay steering works No, hold on, hold on. Oh, by the way, one more thing. You guys asked me about my charging situation. So here it is, I'm gonna share it with you guys. I'm just using a deep cycle, 33 amp hour battery on a retainer, six gauge wire that I can bring to whatever I'm charging and an iCharger X8. In my opinion, one of the best chargers in the world right now. For example, this battery is 11,000. Now this is a 4S, not an 8S, so it's easier on the charger, but it's able to easily charge at 11 amp constantly and be stable and pull from my deep cycle battery about 15 amps. Sometimes I'm charging 8S here and I'm literally pulling 30 amps from that little battery. And obviously this battery keeps charging itself, etc., etc. So this is my charging situation, iCharger X8. I'm not affiliated with them by any means. I'm just using them and love them. Anyway, let's rip. Actually, let's not watch it rip because the car is gone. The car is in pieces now. Uh, we'll build another one, but the crash you should watch because I think there is a lesson to be learned here. Uh, I'm actually heartbroken about it. Um, that ring light makes makes it look like I'm crying. I'm not crying, but uh, it just looks like that. Um, the car evaporated into pieces. Everything is gone. Batteries, motors, ESCs, the car itself. Most expensive, stupid, and heartbreaking crash I've ever had. And if you guys are subscribers, you know that I don't take these things personally. I really don't. It's part of the hobby. It, hap it happens. You build monsters and what do you expect, right? But this one just hits home. This one is just, I really took it personally because it can be easily avoided. Crazy, stupid crash. For example, the motors ejected from the car. They literally ejected from the car and got obviously destroyed. Everything is destroyed. Stupid, stupid crash. And because there's a lesson to be learned here, I really want it to be its own separate video because that's something I really want to show and share. Overconfident and it's completely destroyed. I drove it for two minutes. It is a monster, monster, monster. Super, like so much power. 
But anyway, uh, if you guys are already subscribers, awesome. You'll probably see it in the next video, which is in like a day or two. If not, consider subscribing and joining us. Completely up to you. Uh, smashing the bell, turning on notification on my channel is actually pretty crucial because if not, you don't see my videos since I'm in a different location on the other side of the planet. So, uh, but if you smash the bell, you see every new video. So not a problem. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'm actually really heartbroken about it. It's a weird situation, but it is what it is. I figured I'm going to be honest and, and share it with you guys. So um, I'll see the next video, which is the crash. God, it sucks.